Hi, hello. So this video we're gonna be talking about your emotional needs based on your favorite Mystic Messenger character. When it comes to 707, I feel like if 707 is your favorite character or your best boy, you need someone who is going to cheer you up or someone who is gonna joke or be like the kind of light in your life. That sounds a little bit too much. Maybe you're surrounded by people who have very in the box type of thinking, maybe a little bit judgmental, and you need someone who's going to be there and be very unjudgmental and listen to what you have to say and not quickly jump to a conclusion. If you sung as your favorite, your best boy, you need someone who's going to be sweet to you. Maybe you feel unappreciated and maybe lonely. You have a lot of people around you, but just no one like gets it. You just want someone who is going to be like your person. So you're not like alone. Like if you were to go to a party, you need that like other person who will go with you. You know what I mean? Someone who will try and get you. Hopefully they'll get your name right. But uh, if Zen is your best boy, you need someone who will like protect you. But not in like an overprotective type of way, but someone who will be like your equal. Someone who will be like your bro or your bestie, but then if anyone says anything bad about you, they will like go into protective mode. Someone like, like the best friends to lovers type thing. Someone you could call in the middle of the night if you have a nightmare and they will instantly be like, what's wrong? Like that type of person. If Juman is your best boy, I'm gonna just start off with the obvious. You may like the dark haired CEO type of person, which you do you. Either that or you need to feel wanted, maybe you feel undesirable, maybe you just kinda, you, you need that type of thing. The fact that Juman is a little bit on the possessive side is something you want or you need. Maybe you just have that type of like jealous side in you where sometimes if, if people don't give you enough attention, you feel like you're not enough. And that's valid as long as it doesn't get too much, I guess. Like as long as it's not to the extent of someone like locking you in a penthouse, it's, it's cool. If Jay He is your favorite, if Jay He is your best girl, you need stability. You need someone who's gonna call you every day, who's gonna ask you if you've ate. I mean, they, they all do that, but someone who's gonna ask you if you're eating right, who's going to talk to you about like shows that they're watching. The stability, like the everyday type of thing. Someone who has a decent schedule, a decent job, kind of, debatably. Someone who has normality in their life so you can have normality in your life, but like normality, just like a sweet type of normality. Domesticity, is that how you say it? If V is your best boy, you need vulnerability. You need to be vulnerable. You need to harness your emotional side. V is the type of person who fucking rambles about being the sunshine. And sorry for roasting your dude right there. You need to be emotional talk about your issues. V doesn't talk about his issues for a while, but you need to talk about your issues. If you like V, I feel like you're a very empathetic person because half of this fucking fandom doesn't like V and doesn't see the issues he went through. But if you do, you're a very empathetic person, you understand people, and you probably are not talking about your issues because you're too busy talking about other people's issues. So you need to talk about your issues. You need to get your shit out there and be open about it more. Take care of yourself more. Uh, you need someone who will help you take care of your stuff like you take care of other people's stuff. If Sayran, is your best boy. You need something unconditional or someone who will stay. I feel like Sayran's root, like, like the number one thing it says to me is unconditional because you stay with him and love him when he's Ray and when he shows like the Sayran bit. So I feel like if Sayran is your best boy, you want or need something unconditional. Maybe people leave you when they see certain signs of you. Maybe you have just something about you that you feel like people aren't going to like. So I feel like the thing you need is something that is permanent, something that stays and just is a rock for you. I don't know how to roast you guys. Maybe that unconditional thing shouldn't be someone locking you in like a room in a cult. Vanderwood. If Vanderwood is your best boy, you need someone logical. You need someone to tell you when you're doing dumb shit, just like MC does throughout all of these routes. Vanderwood is the most logical person in this game, even though there's two hackers with very high IQs. If Rika is your best girl, there's a spectrum of you guys, okay? Some of you could say you need someone who cares about other people. Some of you, I could say you need to take care of yourself because you want to take care of people. Like you look for broken people and you want to take care of them. Y'all are on a spectrum. I'm just gonna say with the best case scenario, you need people who care for others. You need someone who's gonna care for you, but y'all are on a spectrum. That could be so off because Rika just has so much going on with her character. Um, a lot of these could be very off because these characters have so 
much when it comes to their good routes and their bad routes. That's it for the video. I wrote this when this video is supposed to be posted, so it's gonna be a little late. I made this video already, but I did not like how I wrote every single character's thing. So I rewrote it. Comment, like, subscribe. Really wish you would.